The Viet Cong moved in here to the Y Bridge on the border of Cholon and Saigon early this morning. They've been fighting most of the night and most of this morning. And for the first time in this current fighting in Saigon, American troops of the 9th Division have gotten involved. It's believed that these same Viet Cong lobbed mortar rounds into downtown Saigon last night. It seems they were also trying to take this important bridge, which is built in the shape of the letter Y. The armored personnel carriers have been standing off and blasting Viet Cong positions with 50 caliber machine gun fire. The Americans finally called in helicopter gunships. The sleek Cobras and lumbering Hueys rained deadly salvos of rockets and minigun fire down on the houses. The civilians were warned to get out before the strike, but many are still in there. The aircraft may have gotten some of the Viet Cong, but they're still returning fire. Fire trucks called in to fight the fires caused by the rockets can't get any closer than the troops. And the firemen, too, are pinned down with everybody else by the enemy fire. The heaviest losses in actions like these are usually civilians. But in this action, there were more than usual. The wounded are evacuated as quickly as possible during lulls in the fighting. But for these, there is no hurry. All that remains for them is to be claimed and buried by their mourning relatives. As the Viet Cong pull back, the civilians move out. At first a trickle, then a stream of terror-stricken humanity pours across the bridge. They carry a few pitiful belongings, their children and old people on their backs. Thousands of them crowding into downtown Saigon. <laughs> Only a few of them knowing where they would sleep tonight or find food. Their only concern at the moment is to escape from the death and destruction that has engulfed their homes. One difference between this fighting and the Tet Offensive seems to be that the enemy this time has no illusions about capturing Saigon. The object of the exercise this time seems to be to cause as much damage and suffering as possible. And in this, as you can see here, they are succeeding admirably. George Sievertson, CBS News in Saigon.